when bombing started, we used to come here a lot. I used to come here a lot with my friends, and uh, there were a lot of people here gathering every night. And we would just sit here and watch our city burn in flames. Sometimes these bombs, they look like fireworks because there are so many of them. There is a hospital over there, which was also bombed, and the joint stuff. And I remember, for example, that tall building over there, it was bombed so we could see right through it. It's quite close to this place where we stand now, which is the historical site of Serbia. So a major European city was being bombed right in the heart of the city. It's so hard for me to imagine that so few Americans knew what was going on. That even now, 15 years on, I don't think many Americans could point out where Serbia is on the map or answer why we bombed you. Today, our armed forces joined our NATO allies in airstrikes against Serbian forces. My name is Anissa. I'm an American journalist. In 1999, I was 16, a junior in high school studying theater, and I was completely oblivious to the fact that a country in the center of Europe was being bombed for almost three months. My name is Jelena. I'm a Serbian journalist. In 1999, I was 18, and I was a student at Belgrade University. For three months, NATO bombs became part of my everyday life. It's been 15 years. I've been doing a lot of reading, and I came here to Belgrade to try to understand as much as it's possible what people, the people went through. Not the government, not the politics, but the casualties. I'm going to introduce you to some people that will help you understand that, because I'm sure that at the time for you, it was not more than two days of breaking news. This is CNN Breaking News. We must act now. A call to take out Slobodan Milosevic. NATO began a massive air bombing campaign. We will provide that knockout blow. Military action. The old gung-ho bomb, bomb, bomb. It has attacked a sovereign state. Waves of planes are taking off. NATO cruise missiles land in Serbia. It'll all start again tomorrow night. This is Anissa. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Ivan, and nice to meet you. She's uh, my best friend, and she's been in my house the night of the bombing. We were together with my sister and with my mom. You remember yes, that night? Yes, I remember that night. So all of the women were in the house? Yes, four of us. I think that we then heard, uh, uh, like, some kind of alarms. What did you do when you heard the... We hid under the table. I don't know which idea was to go under the table. I think it was my mom's idea, <laughs> because she wanted to protect the kids. Like, we were not kids anymore. Like, we were 18, 19, yeah? yeah? University students. Yeah, university yes. students. So that our first year of university. But we hid under the table. And so mom said everybody... No, go it somewhere. was just instinct. It was like... Uh, we didn't... Like a shelter. <laughs> Miss Mom. Miss Lee. It's your house. Yeah. My sister just got married. Hello. Hello. Ciao. Ciao. So we were together when the bombing started. We were at home. We uh, thought that, that it's not going to happen. I remember the day before, uh, President Yeltsin was talking on the TV, and he said that uh, Russia is going to protect us. 
as time was passing by, we learned things that we didn't know before. So we all became some kind of experts. I remember your brother, he was all the time at the river, just watching the bombs, and he knew, like, this plane is coming empty. You know, you could hear by the sound that the plane is with weapons on it or without. But we knew all kind of weapons. We knew all kind of bombs, all kind of planes. We became experts. <laughs> yeah, we all became experts. We had an agreement in the family that we wouldn't limit ourselves, the movement of another members of the family. I just remember that the first night we agreed that we were always going to know where every one of us is, but we wouldn't limit Movement. Because if something to happen, nobody wants to, to take the responsibility for, for, for some other lives. We didn't limit ourselves, but I, I just didn't want to leave the family. And I know that most people did that way. They had a possibility, but they didn't leave. It's going from bad to worse. Belgrade's night skyline again lit by flames. NATO insisted its airstrikes against Yugoslavia would go on. I remember one night that I really went crazy because even we had an earthquake one day. Oh, yes. It was everything. People were saying, come on, and we had flood. What else? What else? What else? What I mean, it's coming from the ground, it's coming from the sky, it's coming from everywhere. And you would know, you, you can hear the planes in your building shaking and you don't know what it is. It and was, so you didn't know it was an earthquake? No, I mean, we found out later on. But I remember me taking uh, a blanket I thought it was somehow I just woke up and I took something to protect me. It was a blanket, you know, you know that they wouldn't protect you or anything. And I said, okay, that's enough. I gotta go. And I took that blanket and I went out of the house. used to to see horrible uh, pictures. pictures I don't know how to explain that is like a virtual uh, reality first months months and a half it was very it was very difficult I remember her she was uh, not crying uh, she was like pouring tears without any face expression it was very my mother couldn't comfort her you, you cannot explain mm, that nothing, that we thought that nothing is going to happen to us. She talks about it very detached now. Uh, now, no, but she was in some kind of shock. It's really hard for me to imagine what these girls went through. I mean, they laugh about it, they talk about it like it was nothing really. Um, and we let, led such similar lives because we were leading our daily lives and, you know, life goes on, but we were living in such different worlds. So one month after the bombing started, NATO bombed our state television building, which is that one, that's just one part of the building. And I know some people that were inside on the third floor when it all happened. Absurdno. Mi smo tako polagali smo, polagali smo nade u to. To je bio jedan onako strašan kovitlec i posle nekoliko sekundi počela je od jedan put počela prašiti da se širi. Tada smo u stvari bili svesni da smo mi pogođeni. Tam 
Samo smo mislili da li će još neko da izađe živo. Mi smo satima čekali tu da neko, da se pojavi još neko od onih za koje smo znali da su tu. Ja sam jela pitu od jabuka sa mladićem koji je pobio. Povređuje me ponekad kad neko, kad neko vrlo veselo se fotografiše ispred te zgrade. To onako, a onda posle pomislim, pa u redu je, život ide dalje. I to bih želela da kažem, kad god se u svetu dogodi neka tragedija, bilo kojeg tipa, onda mislim na te anonimne male ljude koje je ostao bez brata, bez sestre, bez... Hoću da kažem da ne mislim u brojevima. Tako, mislim u nekim likovima koji su meni nepoznati, ali čini mi se da su mi poznati. Izvinjam se. NATO had hit the brains of Yugoslav president. These television stations are part of the apparatus of dictatorship and power of Milosevic. Ano, nismo praktično ni izlazili iz ovog prostora. A to još nisu bili ni odneti, nije bio očišćen? Pa ništa, naravno, naravno. Zato i kažem, zato mi jeste teško, zato što se, mislim, ta slika ostane. Ma koliko čovjek misli kao zaboraviće, ma nije. Vreme ne može sve baš da obriše. većinu stvari ono čovjek zaboravi zato što nisu tako upečatljive ono što je upečatljivo ne znam ne, ovde nikad nisam bio tada sad sam prvi put i kažem nisam očekivao da će toliko da me psihički da me obori bukvalno da me obori i baš osjećam i pritisak u ljudima i pa baš se ne prijatelj odrlo. Ne znam. Jer jedan drugo je kad čovjek koji nikad nije bio ovde pogleda pa vidi tamo pozorište i tako da ja to pozorište ne vidim. Ja vidim tu vrata i to ona kaubojska vrata pa hodnik pa iza hodnika nešto drugo i dete koje za dve nedelje treba da se ženi. Tako da to što sve je strašno. Zato ne može, nije to baš prosto. Čovjek zatvori knjigu i kaže neću da čitam i uredo je, pa vremenom i zaboravi da si čitao pa moraš od početka. Znaš da to se ne zaboravi, pa ovo je nešto što ostaje. I morat ću da radim. Izaći ću, ne mogu. Ništa. Baš, baš. Ništa, ništa. Just be careful here. So there are these 16 trees they planted for 16 lost lives.
I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to come to work and to come into your newsroom and then all of a sudden you become a target. So it, it crosses the line between an information war, a media war, and a real war. And of course, it's unfathomable to me. I think Zoran's eyes said it all, coming into this building after 15 years, and he was living through it again. He was living through every moment of, of finding those bodies, of, of seeing what he saw, like it was, like it was happening again. It seems like you were in the heart of every, bombing. everything that was happening here. Yeah, because there were a lot of buildings in the center that were bombed. Okay, there it is. Oh, wow. So That's the joint stop building. There were a lot of bombs that fell on these buildings. Some allies, specifically Italy, Spain and France, were reluctant to hit a European capital. NATO has proved that more or less it can do what it wants, where it wants, indeed when it wants. And there's many buildings around Belgrade that are like this, as far as I understand. Some of them are taken down as, for example, the Chinese embassy. Can we go to the place where it was? Yeah. Just to see the new I think we should take a cab. Okay. Dobar dan. Treba nam bivše zgrade kineske ambasade koja je bombardovana. Sećate da je trešnjim cvet? Da. Da bi bili u istoradili u vreme bombardovanja kao taksista? Prva bomba je za vreme neke španske serije, kada je žena meni spreko tešće terase gledam straževice i kaže vidi nešto se desilo tamo. To bio je prvo neki mali udarac i jednostavno oblak dima. Ne se jedno se gasao posle nekih 20 minuta. This building here, this one, the tall one, the tall one, yeah. Tamish. This is the one I showed you from the river. That's where they were offices of Social Serbian Party, which was Milosevic's party. It was on the 17th floor, and they bombed the 17th floor. The building was described as one of the nerve centers of the president's killing machine. So their bombs were precise. Their bombs were very precise. It's unbelievable when you think about it, that the embassy of, a, of another country... Well, the fact that the Chinese embassy has been hit complicate the peace process. China has veto power, and now a new reason to be even more angry at the NATO strikes. We are greatly shocked. Essentially, as much as people say Russia and China tried to stay out of this as much as possible. But they um, didn't at the time. I mean, at the time, like, neither China, neither Russia were quite strong supporters. That's what I'm saying. They were very step back. Yeah. And so it's unfathomable, Actually, really, that it would be bombed. They had the power to veto every decision of Security Council, but the decision to bomb Serbia was never taken to the Security Council. It was done without the, the UN. UN. In a sense, the UN is sidelined in all of this. The Russians and Chinese made it clear some months ago that they couldn't support military threats. But we simply couldn't stand by and do nothing uh, as a result of Russian and Chinese opposition. It says to our colleagues from China that died from NATO bombs.
Washington says it was faulty information that led to the targeting of the building. It was a tragic mistake. A tragic uh, mistake. It was a mistake, but no more than that. Despite its mistaken attack on the Chinese embassy in Belgrade, NATO says it will continue its air war against Yugoslavia. In the third day of bombing, uh, concerts began. Yeah, on the main square of the town, of the city, there were concerts every day. Many people carried strong banners condemning the military action against Yugoslavia. Thousands of people, they would stand from the beginning of the bridge to the end, and it's more than one kilometer long. Yeah, it's a big bridge. Yeah, and they would just hold hands and sing, and just say, like, we're all targeted, it's not just the bridge, it's all of us. And they thought that they would stop NATO from bombing the bridges. Then we had an experience with, with a train being bombed when it was crossing a bridge, and then a bus, and then kids playing on a bridge. It seems I mean, like a it lot never of stopped bridges them. were targeted. Because to them, these were legitimate targets. It's infrastructure. Because it's infrastructure and because military vehicles, they can pass from one part to another part of the country. There has been another night of heavy bombing by NATO planes over Serbia. We are satisfied with the results of, of yesterday's strikes. sit down with like Bill Clinton or Madeleine Albright and he had one question, what would he ask them? Kad biste mogli da sednete sa Billom Clintonom ili sa Madeleine Albright i da im postavite samo jedno pitanje, šta biste ih pitali? Pitao bi da li oni i zašto misle nešto ružno o moje zemlji, koji je to razvar, ja mogu da mi kažu, zašto se sve to dešava, zašto Srbi nikada nisu u pravu, zašto su uvek neki drugi u pravu, ti Albanci sa Kosova, kako ih zovu Šiptar ili ne znam, zašto? So this is the hospital which was bombed. This is where kids are born. My friend was there. Bravo. Hello. Hello. Bravo. Bravo. see. We are living on, the, on in this moment. We are we, are, we were living in, in the New Belgrade, which is on, on the cross of the of the Sava River. And in, in the very beginning of, of bombing, she was very big. In seven months, she has a big big stomach. So I prepare everything that if they they, they damage the, the the bridge, that I can bring her in the boat and go and somehow get to the hospital. We got the luck they didn't de destroy the, the bridges, but on that day when she born the, the second kid, Costa, I was uh, with her in the hospital and in one moment I heard the sound of the bomb. Finally, I found them. She was crying. And one nurse took me to the hand, and she showed me six or seven very first deliver baby. And she gave me two of them and said, hey, come help me to bring them to the basement. The hospital wasn't the target, but it was in the way. Air power cannot discriminate as it should between civilian and military targets. Mothers and babies were rushed to shelter. I saw that there was a petro on the other side, and three of the children are the most difficult to fall down and the death of the children. Pobjedao sam, na primjer, otkinute noge, ruke, krvavljenja. U 
gledam sa profesionalne strane moje profesionalno zanimanje, ali ne mogu ipak sad u ovim godinama kada se setim da budem baš onako mrta vladam bez emocija, bez stresa i svega što sam doživao. My son Costa, who is born here during the bombing, one time he he told me, "Hey, I know, I I remember how they bombing. How you remember? You you are one hour old. Hey, I don't know. I I, I sometimes when I dream, I I I have some feeling that I was in in the middle of some battle. Maybe I don't know." I gave birth to my son in August 2012, and there's no words. There's no words to try to even attempt to understand what women in that hospital must have been going through. called most of the destruction that was done to the infrastructure and the civilian casualties collateral damage. From the start, it has made every effort to minimize collateral damage to make sure that civilians aren't killed or wounded. Talking about that collateral damage, there's a bridge near the city of Nish, which was bombed at the time when the train, a passenger train, was passing through the bridge. And so we're going to meet people that were on this train. Samo je se čula eksplozija i plamen ispod lokomotiva. I lokomotiva u ceo voz je Tonight, a NATO airstrike hits a passenger train on a bridge in Yugoslavia. NATO says it was not intended as a target. Despite the civilian casualties in that attack, NATO says there'll be no let-up in the bombing campaign. I'm already scoring, and I'm not sure what's going on. da je bila bombardovana. Znači, u tom trenutku samo prasak, prašina, eksplozija, ništa. Spasivalo živu glavu. Čuli su se avioni, onda je opet bila eksplozija. Ovdje su briska, leli. Naš kolega koji je išao, koji je bio van službe, tako je? I on se nalazio baš ispod mosta kada je udarila druga raketa i ta su njega gelerije raznili sve. Zašto? Zašto u civile? Zašto u bolu? Zašto? Nema potrebe. Znate kad mi smo odrasli u socijalizmu gde je bilo, kad smo mi bili mali deca, gde je sve bilo mirno, gde se zna, ne znam, fašisti su neprijatelji, mi smo dobri i onda odjednom mi smo svoje to nešto na svijetu. i muči me to ako su videli šta je ako već prva reketa bila greška mislim gde su ostale tri to je isto kao i kolega zašto zato ja posle treće rekete možda vi zamislite znači oni neće prestano da gađu mislim to mi je jedino u glavi kad su oni posle dve rekete pa prošli ne znam 5-6 minuta još jednu reketu pođe kampanjola pođemo se na gore ja su krenem još jedna to je ta četvrta reketa mislim znači ovo me nema kraja kao da ja stvarno 
Не да се насбуни него, мислим, може да мислите нещо, што е неверовато. И зашто? Што да решта, кога се нихови, мислим нихови, кога се другим цивилима тако нешто да си мислим. Кој е оправдање? Не има оправдање. I don't understand how the world can let NATO not say sorry for this. Mistake, not a mistake, collateral damage, civilian casualties. You can call it whatever you want, but people died. Have you ever heard of the village called Murina? I know that it's a small village in Montenegro, and I read about the NATO bombing there, but I couldn't find any real information. I know that six people were killed, and that three of them were children, but that's all I could find. It was in a list. So it was on, only on the list? Of casualties. Of casualties. Co je to dám se ta? Je to hodně bílá šatka, je na kafe v tom. Je on je přijel, on ti je hodně bílý. He was here. I on da přijde jeho víš, to jsou, oni jsou viděli odnut, i němu dua ona od bomby skinula moje, ono, co jí má, je dus. I ta mu skinula i bacila u lím, u vody. Oni jsou mysleli, da je on odišel. I kaže, Miroslav ode u lím. Mezi tím, když jsou došli tu, oni jsou našli su něco. Mene nisu dali da uđem, ili nek ti ostane u sećanju kakav ti je bio, a Mirku, neno, ti moraš da ideš da hoćeš, ako hoćeš, kako li neću. I onda je on otišao, šta li moraš šta da biti? Komati cijel, glava tamo pored bačena, bez ruke, bez noge, bez glave, eto tako. To monstru mi ne bi uradili, nemam riječi šta bi rekli. Ludaci, to su ludaci. U kesu najlon su ga strpali oni, pa u sanduk ga stavili. Ne obuče, ne obuve, ništa. Ništa. To mi je najteže od svega. Najteže. Ko životinju, ko ne, nemam riječi što bi rekli. A prodanica je bila ovako od ovdje u moru. Isto. U prodanicu, uz prodanicu ona mala izgorela sva. smo živjeli u Prištini. Osnovno je bio taj strah od tog tih terorista, od oslobodeške vojske Kosova koja se tamo već bila. Tako da onda sam ja insistirao da da njih četiri odu tamo. I tako. Tako su se obrale tamo. Ja sam obezbedio prevoz i tako. I ja sam ih odvao tamo. Tog dana se kao najavio taj moj bađa da će doći za praznik, za 1. maj. Onda su one krenule da kupe, sad sad znam da li prašak za pecivo, da li već kako to ide za kolače. Ove dve mlađe su bile kod škole, a ove dve su starije pa su potrčale sa tim jednim dečakom, Miroslavom Kneževićem, koji isto poginuo sa njima tu. I negde oko 
devet, ja mislim da sam čuo da je bombardovano Murinu u Crnoj gori, da ima žrtava, izbjeglice iz Prištine poginule, da su deca i tad mi je bilo jasno. Došao jedan moj kolega sa nekim vozilom, ja sam otišao, šta znam gde sam, tu sam se negde muvao, Sede on je, kad sam ga vidio, onda sam već znao šta je, samo sam pitao da li su sve ili... ili samo jedna. Zašto se to desilo? This is not a battle for territory. This is a battle for humanity. We're not targeting President Milosevic or the Serb people. The air campaign is going to continue. What is that? Skraćenica, new terrorist American organization. Why is this bombarded? No one has been provoked. How can it be bombarded in such a peaceful place where no one hears anything? And the BEP has killed six children and children. To je mnogo za malo mjesto Murin. Ona je inače Amerikanka i došla je da vidi šta se ovde desilo zato što tamo nije mogla da čuje u... Možete samo reći ovo. Sodona i ponijela, Sodona, ove sve koji su u NATO. I Blair Kjez mi je napravio namo na televiziju. Pošto je, kaže, kolitorana šteta, kao greškom su to gađali. Posle se javlja i kaže greškom. Ubi djecu i kazat greškom. Prelijepe troje djece su bili. Nikad se nemali. Tri zgrade su otišle, Bog je kaznio. Te onaj gađao, onaj. 11. septembra. Uživala sam, uživala sam. Žao mi je što narod ne zna. Evo, vi ne znate to. A uživala sam kad su tri zgrade otišle, to su tri djeteta na Murinu. Tako da kažeš tamo. Rekla je majka i otac, to su tri djeteta s Murine. To su platili oni, no mi je žao što je narod nastradao. Gledajte vi ove članice na primjer. Skotovi bezobrazni skotovi. NATO nije bombardova vas. I tsunami i sve će i razvijet. Sve i ponijelo. A da mi je da odvoji NATO pa da pa da njih gaži. A kako ne potrefi u bilu kuću, ramu bilo ono me. Gledajte kako se, na primjer, Slobodan Milošević gubi 70 do 100 vojnika i policajaca. Kad smo sakranjivali našeg Miroslava, evo i tu, a oni, gledaj, kako su to u naopako okrenuli. Vili vojnike, a on dijet. Novinar, gledaj ti, kako sakranjuju vili vojnike, a dijeta sakranjuju. U Hrvatskoj objavljeno. U Hrvatskoj objavljeno. Tamo sam imao iz sela nekoga koji mi je donio kako naopako mi pušti smo, ko se nada da će oni to pogrešno da okrenu. Oni su rekli su grič. Eto, dijete moja zakrana, a oni to kako se krenuje vojnike. Nemo da i ništa ljepšaš, no ovako kako... Tako ste rekli, to ćemo da prenesemo. What do you say to a mother that sincerely looks at you and says, why? From mother to mother, why my child? Why not your child? Because I think for a lot of Europeans, a lot of Americans, it's not quite really clear what Kosovo means to Serbians or Albanians, why there's this fight for this land. And also the history of it, how did it become this way, that Albanians became the majority and started fighting for rights on another land. The only way you can understand that is if I tell you that, okay, now you have a lot of Mexicans crossing the border and living in the United States, yeah, maybe in southern Los Angeles. 
you let them in and you give them, you give them rights. I'm sure they have their own schools in Spanish. It's a big debate in America, but I think what you're trying to say is when Because a minority becomes a majority. Can you imagine if immigrants in the States started demanding an area gaining independence from the US and some third country back their cars and starts bombing Washington? Looks like it was just built. Because it is. Actually, this is Pristina. There is a hotel that I recognize that was there always. And now it's a huge, huge construction site. This street here is called Bill Clinton's Boulevard. And then you have this monument to Bill Clinton and an American flag. And it's quite ironic that in his hand, he has this paper with the date of bombing. And the Albanian people are grateful to Bill Clinton and America for gaining independence, although they have been victims of bombing themselves. NATO warplanes did fire on a convoy of refugees fleeing Kosovo. Yes, they had inadvertently killed some of the very people their bombs were intended again, to protect. This is a result of Mr. Milosevic's policies. If he doesn't want this to happen, he ought to get out of Kosovo. All I want for you is a good future, and I will do everything I can to support it. To support it for the rest of my life. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. President. There used to be a lot of Serbs living here. And this one is, uh, used to be a Serbian house. And then they destroyed it and they put an Albanian flag there. So just that now people know that it's Albanian. So we are in Kosovska Mitrovica, which is a town that is now divided in two. This is the bridge, and it literally divides this town. You see, this is the Serbian part, these are Serbian flags, Serbian and Russian flag. What's the significance of the Russian flag on Because this side? Because Serbian people know that Russian people are the only one that protects them. My grandmother, she used to live on that part. The Albanian part. The Albanian part, yeah. Because it didn't really matter. In the times of Yugoslavia, there were more Albanians on that part, but they were quite mixed. So the Serbs stay on their side, the Albanians stay on their side. Yeah. And they're living in this kind of abstract world of unclear borders. Yeah. a couple of questions. Is it relatively secure here in this area? No, I think yes. I just wanted to know when is the last time that they had clashes? It was like in 2005 or after that. Were there any problems among Serbs and Albanians on the bridge? I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not um, here in Kosovo a long time. 
Do you know why NATO decided to bomb Yugoslavia? Yes, I remember. I seen the, the news. Ethnic cleansing. A modern day great terror. Atrocities, murders, the execution of people. This is the place where my grandmother's house used to be. In the Albanian. They were in the Albanian. Yeah, we're in the Albanian part. And uh, I don't even recognize it. I mean, I know by the address that this is where she used to live. So it looks nothing like what it did when you were a little girl? Nothing. She had a house, like a big house, but it was not this big. So she was obliged to go away. Uh, she's been living in the neighborhood which is like half Albanian, half Serbian. And sh they used to live normally, like uh, normal neighbors do. And after the bombing, she was one of the few people that left here. When she left Kosovo in 1999, there was only one family left here after her. And uh, they came one night, some Albanian friends, and told her, look, you got to go. I mean, we have heard from the Albanian Liberation Army, which they themselves called terrorists. They, we heard that uh, they're gonna come tomorrow after you and they're gonna kick you out if you don't go yourself. And where did she go? To Belgrade. To you? So she came to you. Is it hard to be here? Sorry. Since we've gotten to Kosovo, she's become very um, agitated, nervous, we're always rushing. And I think it's because it's really unpleasant for her to be here. And then coming to her grandmother's house, it was clear that everything she's been keeping inside for the time we've been filming uh, and the stories we've been hearing about people losing loved ones and uh, becoming you know, the civilian casualties that were lost to the NATO bombing. I know this is hard for you. You okay? Yeah. I just haven't been here for such a long time. Yeah. And we've been filming so many people that you've been listening to their stories as a journalist and then... Yeah, and it's different because I've seen that uh, old part. This is the only old part that left. It's not my grandmother's house. It's her neighbor's house, but it's the same color. Yeah. And I remembered it. Yeah. Mogli dovoljno dobro da objasnimo što se dešava. 
Pa da, ja mislim... Što je mnogo vremena prošlo i zato što mnogi stvari želiš da zaboraviš. Da. A ni tebi nije do kraja nekako jasno što se sve desilo. Mislim da je jako teško neko to shvati ko nije to doživa. This is one of these bombs that fell on this small village. And this one must be some five meters tall. It's at least three of you. Yeah. But could it be dangerous that it was here for so long after? I really hope it's not. Wow. I'm sorry, it was a long... Thank you so much for talking to us. I know it's really difficult. Yeah. <laughs>